Hey everyone, it's Justin Michael. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, today I actually have a couple of um, sort of odd small decks I'm going to show you. None of them are tarot decks. I have a Lenormand deck, uh, the Fairy Tale Lenormand. Uh, this is by Lisa Hunt. I'm a big fan of Lisa Hunt's work. Uh, unfortunately, I was unable to acquire the Fairy Tale Tarot. Um, I've been looking for it for some time. Um, I almost bought it in Spanish, and I wish I did. Um, because it's no longer uh, available now. It's out of print even in Spanish and I had the opportunity to buy it. Um, but for whatever reason I didn't. So uh, it's the fairy tale Lenormand. Um, so it's the artwork by Lisa Hunt written by Aaron Lynch. And it's a little tin. I, I love these little tins actually. Uh, and then I have two playing card decks. One is called the Royal Pulp playing card uh, deck. And then I have uh, the Star Wars playing cards. Now. I ordered the, it comes in a red one and a blue one. This is the blue one. This is like the light side of the force, the good guys, you know. Um, there is a dark side, which I really want, and I will eventually show those to you. Um, but something's going on with the shipping. It's taking forever. So I just wanted to show you this anyway, and I'll just squeeze that in another video in the future. Uh, and then lastly, uh, I have, uh, it's called Playing Card Oracles Divination Deck. It's by U.S. Games. And I saw this and I was pretty intrigued. So it's a playing card deck, um, but it's, you know, for fortune telling. So it's not quite a Lenormand. It's more or less just a fortune telling deck. So we're going to take a look. Let's open the Lisa Hunt deck first. Let's take a look at that and see uh, what it is. I'm actually in the back of my house today. Um, this is a little space right next to my house that uh, is very um, green. <laughs> So I said, let me set up over here. I was going to do it on my porch, but uh, there's always too many distractions on my porch. Last time I tried to film a video on my porch, uh, I got hit with uh, an Amazon fresh delivery and, you know, people just started approaching me. It was very, very chaotic. So, like I said, this fairy tale Lenormand comes at a tin. Uh, let me move a little closer here so you guys can see. Um, so it comes in a little tin. I'm going to set these down for a moment in the grass. Uh, so that's what it looks like. Oh, very tiny deck. I got to say, it's very tiny. I thought it would be like bridge size, you know, a little bit bigger. This is a little smaller than a bridge size. And for the price, I'm a little disappointed um, that it's this tiny. I mean, very, very tiny. I don't mind small. I just think this is a little too small. But th that's just my first impression. I'm always biting plastic wrappers uh, on my YouTube videos. It's probably really annoying. <laughs> Sorry. Never bring my knife. So um, I don't have um, the fairy the, the fairy tale tower, like I said, to uh, compare it. But I do know that the images are more than likely taken from that. So I'm just going to show you a few of these. This is smaller than a bridge size. It's uh, and that's the backs. You know, it's like U.S. game stock, you know, but, uh, well, I like the tin. It's just, it's a little small, even sitting in the tin. That's pretty cool. Clovers. I've always had a thing for clovers, and actually, since, a, since I was a kid, I, I've always drawn them. Not a very big Lenormand guy. Um, I don't really read with them, but I do like some of the decks. And this was one I thought I would have to have because, you know, I'm a big fan of Lisa Hunt's. I actually have an original um, drawing, a painting, a watercolor painting of hers. Let me just scale it to a plank. So this is a playing card deck. And uh, just to show you, you know, it's... Uh, much smaller it's even smaller than a bridge a bridge size deck which is kind of annoying but i know some people like really small decks so i guess maybe that's a thing with lenormand because i have another lenormand deck too um it's the uh i think the mystical lenormand that's by los carbeo Her artwork is always very stunning though. She has a, a unique style that I like. 
I'm not going to show you all of them. I just figured I'd show you some because we have uh, quite a few decks to go through. So let's do it quickly. Birds. I hear them all around. I hear birds all day long. When I wake up, I hear them. You know, if I'm up really late and the sun's about to come up, I hear them in my house. This is just a, um, an area with a lot of birds. We also have foxes. Very cool artwork. I just wish they were a little bit bigger. You know, that's part of the thing with Lenormand, I feel like, you know, when I see these decks, sometimes I wish they were a little bigger, you know, like the size even of a tarot deck, and I would totally buy them. Even playing cards, sometimes I wish, you know, I'd like to make a playing card deck that uh, is full size, you know, tarot size. I think that would be really cool. You know, for divination, you know what I mean? Okay, we'll stop there. So, uh, nice card stock. It's just, like I said, the size is a little annoying, but uh, let's take a look at the book real quick, just to see. So, it's a tiny little book, the size of the deck. And uh, the print is nice and big, though, so that's good. Dedicated to all who have ever dreamed of riding a unicorn, dancing with fairies, fighting the dragon, or winning the hand of the prince or princess. Okay, and it just has a little forward, and then the meanings of the card, so. Not bad, you know, it's a cute little deck. I thought it was a little pricey, though. For the, for the price, I thought I would get a little more. The tin is nice. So next up, I think, uh, in that spirit, we're gonna do the um, playing card oracle. If I can open the darn thing up. So um, this is a divination deck by Anna Cortez and C.J. Freeman. And that's the front. This is the back. This is U.S. Games. I don't own any fortune telling decks by U.S. Games. I do have a few. Um, none of them are from U.S. Games. I only own tarot decks by U.S. Games. And of course, another little plastic wrapper. And comes with a little booklet. Uh, Playing Card Oracles Divination Deck, published by US Games. And so, okay, it has a thing about the suits in the booklet, you know, um, fire, our diamonds, uh, clubs. Oh, that's interesting. So diamonds are fire in this. Usually clubs are fire. Clubs are the element of air, hearts are water and spades are earth. I see spades are usually um, air, but I, I'm guessing you can do, do whatever you want, you know what I mean? And then it has the oracles. The explanations that follow give clues to the interpretation of each card. I say clue because what is given here is necessarily abbreviated. Let the images, the colors, and the total picture of the cards in your hands inspire your interpretations. The magic is inside of you. Oh, I like that. So, you know, it's kind of like, but, um, yeah, it has really cool stuff in here, you know, about the directions and so nice little booklet and uh, about the authors and illustrator. Playing Card Oracles was created by the combined talents of father-daughter team Anna Cortez and C.J. Freeman, sharing a lifelong passion for prophecy and the divinatory arts. Both have felt strongly guided in their work together. Anna Cortez is a self-taught student of the mystics art of the mystic arts. She teaches and gives readings in Boulder, Colorado, where she lives with her two children. Along with card reading, she also pursues yoga, sacred dance, numerology, and astrology. My kind of girl. Um, she works extensively with dreams, Gerdafian studies, and of course in miracles. She also in 
enjoys dabbling in the arts, painting and drawing, as well as writing. Uh, Charles Friedman lived and worked in Denver. He was self-taught illustrative artist with an abiding interest in metaphysics. The 30-year process of creating the gallery of artwork for the playing card oracles began with kind of visual channeling and scribble drawings that were later refined and detailed and colorized line drawings. And then it just says, playing cards have long held clues to the mysteries of the ancient oracles. This exquisitely designed deck taps into those divinatory secrets and provides a unique method of card reading. Each card is an original work of art, uh, integrating powerful archetypes and symbols. Uh, an instruction booklet by Anna Cortez guides readers through the deck interpreting hidden meanings of each card. She also points out the significance of the suits uh, with numerological associations between the card, deck, and calendar. Sample card spreads provide further insight into the uh, oracular meanings of the card. So that's pretty interesting. Let's take a look at the card. So here we have the Ace. I don't know much else about this, but it does look pretty cool. These are the backs. So this is the uh, Ace of Diamonds. It's interesting how, you know, you'll see like, for instance, Diamonds is uh, fire in this instead of clubs. And uh, it's interesting how people to, you know, use the symbols differently. I would imagine they're interchangeable. I don't know what well, the image, the only problem is these are fully illustrated and the images may, you know, have more to do with uh, the elements. And then here is, uh, so this is the necklace, three of diamonds. Lots of little bugs. I've been getting bit up like crazy. The Peddler's Ace. Five diamonds. I've been very into playing cards lately, you know? It's just something uh, I've been drawn to. The more interested I get into uh, you know, pip studies, uh, the more intriguing I find these playing card decks. But this has sort of full illustrations, you know, also. Sort of like a Lenormand, but not quite. Those early folks, you know, um, Lenormand herself and uh, I know Atella used to use a the reduced deck, a Tarot deck, which I believe was like no, I think he used, he cut out the first few, so it was like only the higher numbered cards. Maybe it was like seven to ten, and then ace, king, queen, and jack, something like that. So early, early divination was used with playing cards, as we all know. These are the courts. It's interesting that you have... Um, Okay, well, hold on. So, Tendra is 10. And you have number 11 is Dongo. Uh, I'm going to have to look in the book and see what these uh, what these are, but these are some si type of uh, court cards. This and this is the Queen Livia, which is 12, the number 12. So, we're looking at court cards sort of as an extension of the numbers. I kind of like that. And then here is number 13 of diamonds, and this is Leo, so this would be the king. So of course, you know, fire and Leo. Leo is most certainly the king. They'll let you know it too. <laughs> and uh, here we are on the clubs. So I'm just gonna be a little quick about this. I'm gonna show you a little faster. If you wanna see it further, just pause the video. Very interesting artwork. Very different. And we have East Wind here for, I guess, four is the four directions. 
by the wind cape. Clubs is air. I've never seen this deck until recently. I don't know if, how new it is. Um, I'm always on the lookout of like interesting playing card decks. And this is an interesting uh, concept, you know, because I think playing cards sort of something in the air with playing cards lately. Uh, I, I am seeing quite a bit of uh, it on our little YouTube community. People, you know, into playing cards and so forth. They're sort of making a comeback. Galahad. It's Celtic or what? Sounds sounds Gaelic almost. Ten is Fortuna. So eleven. I don't know if this would be the page or this would be um, the Jack. Yeah. Yeah, this is the jack jack of clubs so 10 also has a figure on it as well but i think this is jack and then 12 leah his queen love that image with the moon i forget who leah is i know there's a leah in the bible and also in mythology um and then 13 is the king soul which means sun I believe in Spanish it means sun anyway. Could be wrong about that. And then we're on to the Ace of Hearts. Two of Hearts, lovers. This will be a fun deck to, to play around with. I hope I beat the sunlight because it's about eight o'clock here and uh, the sun is going down. But, uh, west wind, you know, uh, water is west. So of course the number four has to do with directions because the four, among other things, which is an interesting take on that. Yep, 50, it's 52 cards. So you could actually use this as a playing card deck as well, if you wanted to. This is very similar to the uh, Archetypes deck in this style, you know. It's like a poker style deck that's designed for divination. So the number 10, and I have seen that before with uh, divination decks. They'll have a person pictured on the number 10 because 10 is like very important, a very important number. Um, it's the end of the cycle. And then you have 11 here, which is Jack. Some sort of Jack figure, although he kind of looks like a knight. 12, Deja. Some sort of queen figure. And then we have Good King Nicomaya. 13. So the King of Cups. Very cool. And Ace of Spades. I'm just going to go a little faster here just to uh, beat the, uh, the sun going down here so you can still see the cards. really cool deck. I'm glad I got this. This is something I will use. Stone. Mm -hmm. 
you know, I've read some tarot books where they have um, a system where the core cards are just extended numbers in numerology. So it's pretty interesting, you know. I, I wonder if that's what he's getting at, uh, he and she, father and daughter team, Anna and CJ. Okay, and next up is the Royal Pulp, which was a very colorful playing card deck. This is just something I saw and I was like, you know, I want to get this. Um, it's not, this is playingcards.net, made in the USA, not bicycle. Although it does have that nice bicycle feel. I wonder. A lot of these newer playing card decks, that's what they have. So let me show you the box. There's Royal Pulp. So this is just a regular playing card deck uh, with, uh, so, so here you got two jokers. There's joker number one and joker number two. And this is the ace of spades. So it's a really cool design there. I like that. And then these are the regular suits. Let me show you some of these. It's the uh, two of spades. And I'm not going to show you all those. Let me just show you the core cards. Here's the jack of spades. Queen of spades. And the came. So here's the diamond suit. This is what the diamonds look like. The Ace of Diamonds and the Two of Diamonds. Show sure what the Ten looks like. Ten of Diamonds. And now we're on to the Jack. Jack actually looks female in this. This is pretty interesting. Almost. It's a very feminine face. It's pretty androgynous. And you have Queen. King of Clubs. And Jack. These are the backs. I'm not sure if I showed you those or not, but they feel really nice. These are actually not bad. So this is what the club suit looks like. Just the regular club suit. And uh, show you the rest of the court cards and We'll get on to the last deck here because I'm about to run out of sunlight here. <laughs> it's the Queen of Hearts and the Jack of Hearts. And I'll show you the hearts, the Ten of Hearts, just to show you what the suit looks like. So it's a pretty cool design on there, you know. Um, and that's it with Illustrated. And then I see this a lot in uh, a lot of different decks. You have uh, double-sided backs, which uh, I find pretty interesting. And then our last deck, last but not least, hopefully I can show it to you before it gets dark. I can open the damn thing. You would think I would learn to carry a little knife with me. <laughs> because this is an ongoing problem. I got it right here. Okay, perfect. So this is the Star Wars. This is the light side of Star Wars. So it's a blue kind of uh, foiled stamped box. It's really, really nice actually. And um, I, hate to, I hate to break that seal, but you know what? I have to do it.
Okay, so this is bicycle. This is made by bicycle. I got these actually off of Amazon, um, which is being really weird about the, uh, about, you know, delivering to me lately. Um, Star Wars, nice blue backs. This has a really nice, uh, you know, bicycle kind of feel to it. And uh, I will show you, all right, so here's the Ace of Hearts. Let's look through and see what we have character-wise. So it's a regular playing card deck, as you can see. You know, Ace of Spades, Two of Spades, and then the core cards are, I suspect, yep, characters from Star Wars. So we have, uh, I don't know if that's Boba Fett or one of the um, bounty hunters. Have, I forget her name, Queen. Oh, this is the dark side. I'm sorry. I thought it was the light side. This is the dark side. I did not know. I thought I ordered the dark side and not the light side. Okay. Well, that makes sense. And here's the King of Spades, which is Vader. I think. Is it? There's some luminous beings. I don't know. There's a red one and a, and a blue one. I don't know if one's light and one's red. That's what I thought it was, but... And just to show you, that's Lucas Films. It says, I hope you, hopefully you can see that. And, um... It's actually a very attractive-looking deck. So you have... Here's the diamonds. They're a bit smaller, but very nice. And, um... So here's the queens. Yeah, these, see, these are... So you do have Vader, but then you have uh, Rey. These are the new Star Wars characters. And here is Luke, is the king. Was I missing the jack? Yeah. Oh yeah, Lando, is this? Lando Calrissian, maybe? This is the, um, uh, what is his name? I forget, um, Palpatine. I think that's who it is. And I forget her name. She's some sort of commander. And then we have Ben Skywalker, or Ben um, Solo. Some of the clubs. I think this is Leia, Hans, and I'm not sure who this is. Oh, that must be um, Obi-Wan, maybe. It's like Leia. And then Hans. So that's it. The sun is going down here. It's almost dark. Just to show you the rest of them. This is sort of what they look like. They feel really nice. Uh, if you're a Star Wars fan like I am, this is probably a must for you. So, and like I said, there's also a red counterpart, which I will ultimately get uh, as soon as they decide to deliver it. But anyway, I just thought I would sh uh, share some, you know, I got all these little decks uh, this week and this week and last week, so I figured I would show them. And just with the sun going down, that's uh, my cue to wrap this up. So thanks for stopping by, guys. I appreciate it. Hope everybody's well. And uh, we will talk soon. Thanks for, thanks again. Bye-bye.